In today's video, we're going to turn this into this. So there we go, that is the project we're working on today. And the reason we're doing that is because one, it's a little bit messy over here. And two, I did say in the previous video after we, I showed you how I do my machine placements and all that kind of stuff, is we want to work on design. So right here, we can already see that these train stations are messy. They're blocking the view of the building. Uh, belts are going everywhere. Uh, these train lines are a little bit messy. And the only reason I say that is because there's not enough room for a train uh, to come in here and then actually wait for the other train to depart. So which means the train will back up here and it will go onto these lines right here, which means the pink train that goes into there will back up across here, which will block this whole junction up. So that is one where we're going to fix it. But I also want to work on the design of this building create some lines and we're going to move these train station around and what i'm thinking is we get this orange one here which is the quartz goes here right next to the quartz building right there and then the water inbound and outbound lines we're going to put them on that side of the building over there because one it makes sense because all the water is going into this section down here um into there so i feel like that's what we want to start doing so if we go back upstairs here into the main uh, room where the copper has been created and the wire and cable and all that kind of stuff we can see that i've already started putting pillars down where i want to kind of you know create the the outbounds and the border of the building itself and i don't want to put it onto these ones here because obviously we need to walk around as a pioneer but i've just took it out by one and then just going to see where it goes okay so i'm coming up with a design right here and we can see it's all i'm doing is i'm just playing around with um the outside of the building some kind of design just kind of mocking some things up and i'm just utilizing the, the double ramps like this and then just using these uh, four meter foundations but i'm creating some depth uh, within the building and the good way of doing that is using pillars well the big pillars the small pillars ramps uh, and just your large foundation just to create a bit of thickness where you think you know some structural integrity will be needed uh and some people do ask about these lights because obviously we don't have any form of wall lights but all these are is just basically uh let me just break in here uh these are basically just um street lights just on a uh, metal pillar like this and then just hidden and just the pillars go through it is one in my tips and tricks video uh which uh, i did quite a while back now uh, and I've kind of used this for a while and it works and then these electrical bits come through and it creates a little bit of an aesthetic for like, you know, kind of like capacitors coming through and all that kind of stuff, like a little electrical boxes. Uh, and it works pretty well. And with the lights choosing, I don't know if, if I'm going to go in with the, the warm lights as of yet. I just don't have a clue. Uh, and then I'm just using large windows with some big metal pillars just in the center just to kind of break it up. Because sometimes, if you actually don't have these pillars here, you just got like a big open and it just looks a bit too flat for me. And I'm all about depth and creating some form of perspective. So I just put these in here just like this. And this is what this video is going to be basically about today. We're going to be focusing on highly on design. We're not going to do any machine work. We are going to do a lot of deleting and rebuilding. For example, like we're going to remove all of these train tracks uh, and train stations, uh, as I did stated at, uh, I mean, a couple of minutes ago. So the next thing I kind of want to look at doing is possibly moving this orange train station here, which is our quartz one, to the right hand side there. And then we're going to come up with some form of design and then we'll see how this is going to link with this building and this one as well. Right, so what I've done, I've added the new train station in here and I've started diverting the trains that was going towards that orange station to actually this station now. Uh, and I've, you can see here, I've rerouted the actual lines that was going into there from that station. I've actually put them underground here now and diverted them around on an underflooring because right here, it just looks a little messy and I don't like it. So we're, we're going to remove this and all these belts to just kind of clean it up a little bit. So I've kind of done this and I've added the, the doorway, the double sliding doorway here. 
uh, like this. And some of you might want to know how we do this. And all we do is we just literally grab ourselves a road barrier like this, put one here like this, and then one here just like that. So it's kind of crossing a little bit. Grab yourself a doorway, aim at the left one, hold control, switch. Grab that one, do the same, switch. And that will clip through each other, but it creates a cool little door just like that. And then you can just stack them on top of each other for trains to get through or trucks or all that kind of stuff. Obviously, different sizes I mean for different ones. And it makes it, if you put it down exactly the way I do, the train actually fits perfectly in this size here. Obviously, only one will open as I'm here, but yeah. So I've done that on the entrance. You can see the train comes through there. Nice and cushy. But for the rest of the design of this building, I want to add some form of unique roof to this and uh, to kind of blend it in with this building here and hopefully try to link it to that one. So we, I think I'm gonna go with the black and like midnight blue kind of feel to this building, I think. Uh, obviously I'm gonna keep the pink just so the train, I know that it's, you know, it's quartz. But what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna put down a foundation here and here, just like that, and then maybe grab our foundation with the double ramp and take this up here and create like a, a wing, kind of, something like that. And if we do it on this side, two, three, put that there that could work if we bring this across here like this as well and we can kind of create something a little bit unique there i'm just wondering that's three down isn't it that's three down there but another okay so we could we could add another like wing to the top of this so i'm gonna that put it onto vertical remove the middle one and then do the same here and take that oh up come on not default zoop it there we go and then take that from the top layer there and zoop that across there just like this, right? It kind of creates a little bit of a unique... It kind of reminds me of um, Hunger Games. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, and then do something like this to the edge of the building. Like that. And then I could just go into here and paint it. So that will be blue. So these two buildings will match together. That will be blue here. Just like that, right? And then for the outside... <sighs> To be honest, I need to remove all of these metal pillars. I'll do that later on anyway. Because I think I want to... Like like how I've done that, how that's got like a unique shape, the triangle. I'm thinking about doing that here onto this building. Maybe do it on well, either this side or that side. So like maybe like take get these foundations here, take that up, and then kind of bring it down to a full stop there. Obviously, these belts won't be here by then. And then take that along here and kind of just come up with some form of design and then paint this blue just like that. Actually, that needs to be painted as well, doesn't it? And just kind of create something a little different and just kind of play around with it and see what you can with, like, the foundations. Because I use the foundations as well, especially the coated ones. But there was something I did on stream the other day, and I want to show you this because I find it pretty cool. And I've never thought about doing this before. So, as you know, we have these, this train station right here, right? So if I was to extend the roof along, let's just kind of uh, zoop this along here like this so yes it is clipping through but as you know my rule of thumb if it's stationary it's fine and then if i build this foundation up by one like this we can see these columns and i want to use these as like the building structural supports and it kind of looks like it now right but then what i found out is if we actually because of power of soft clipping if we actually get our road barrier and place that here and the reason i place this foundation just one meter above is you know to keep on the same grid and everything and then what i do is i grab myself a um window uh if i just scroll down grab myself a hex frame window place that there like this Actually, it'll probably be easy if I do it this way, right? Go down here, put it underneath. So place you there and then replace that one. So back to the hex frame and place you there. Then I remove this and I'm going to place this all the way along. I'm going to clip it through the supports like this and create like, it kind of reminds me of like a passenger station. Does that make sense? Because like the, you can see the structure still coming out. And you could even, like, add doorways in here as well. Like, I could turn this into a doorway if I wanted to. And then we've got access to this building. But then, with this small gap here, obviously our wall's not going to fill that. But that's where the power of, for example, the uh, pillars come in, right? So we do a small metal pillar. I'm going to put it there. And the reason I'm going to put it there is just to create a bit of depth here on the edge of the wall. Otherwise, it'll look too flat. So it will look like that, right? If it just covers that spot. You can see the edge of the building there. And I don't like looking at the edge of these walls. So I like to hide them normally within pillars. And then there's a little bit more of a, another gap. So I'm just going to place that along there as well. And if I wanted to, I could just hide this whole wall behind this pillar to kind of create some form of different kind of texture. And we put that there. 
like this. And then the next thing that's coming to my mind here is obviously we can see where these doors are opening. We could hide these as well. And the way I'm thinking about doing that is if we get ourselves a foundation and put that there. Actually, no, because of the doorway. I might change that doorway then. We zoop that along there. It kind of creates a bit more of a larger platform, right? And then we can just kind of extend this all the way through. We then get ourselves a painted beam or a, a normal steel beam, whichever. Place that in this on this line of this foundation. And wherever direction you're facing it, go the opposite way. So place just one there like that. Grab yourself the beam and then place it on the end of it. It'll go halfway through, right? Uh, you can even put like a foundation here and touch it to the side, but I kind of it's the quickest way for me to do it. So I kind of do this and put this down here. And then on top of this, what I like to do a lot is obviously put my railing down, just kind of line that up to the edge of that and then kind of zoop that along. It kind of creates a bit of protection from you and the train, even though we're not going to be boarding it. You know what I mean? We can kind of take that along here and then like that. And then we can just duplicate that on the opposite side. And then, you know, Bob's your uncle and it might look pretty decently. And we can put some, you know, a, maybe even a doorway there. So we can access this and just kind of put like some form of walkway. Like I could put a doorway in there kind of thing. So, well, there's the train coming in. Kind of looks pretty decent as well. So I definitely want to kind of change that up there. Because obviously I can't put a, a ramp there. So maybe I remove this door. But then still put that down. And maybe put an entrance somewhere else. But what I don't want to see is the edge of this train station here. So I think I might take this up by one. And take this all the way across here. And then get myself a one meter ramp like this and then just kind of bring this down here as well but it, this area is going to be pretty dark so i will need to add some lights in here so i think the best thing for me to do because i don't think i can if we go into organization and grab our street lights i don't think it's going to allow me because of hard clipping hard uh, you know what i mean you see how it's not allowing me to place that in there is I think I might have to get the three tall ones, um, like the the floodlights, and then place them on the opposite side of this train station on a platform and get them to face this side of the station and have them cast the beam. Um, but as you know, like I did with the other building, precisely the water building here, you can see like I've put these like the, the metal beams um, going across the tracks like this. And I'm gonna do that in places where I th uh, like high density traffic's gonna be. And I'm gonna do that all the way along here, right? Cause I think it'll look pretty cool. But then again, this junction won't be here cause I'm gonna be eliminating this, right? Cause this is the main inbound line and outbound line of the trains that are coming up from over there. And I'm, I'm move moving them, right? So that, that new line here, this one here that's curving, that's going to be for the quartz train coming back out and going that way because I have zero trains for quartz coming from this direction. So it makes no sense for this train to kind of merge with this one. It might as well just, you know, forcefully go that way. Where the two water trains here are going to go to the side of the building over here, which makes more sense for me to put down a, a new line which goes over here. But I want to create some, um, you know, like overpasses. It's the best way to, you know, stop congestion. So looking at this, I, I hate how these foundations do this, like how you got the, the lightness here and then the darkness there. So with the roof, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the roof textures and I'm just going to hide this, right? Um, oh, I need to put this down here. This is a four meter, right? This is going to go through. Is that too low? That might be too low. Hold on a minute. Is that actually going to clip through the sign? It's not. It's just out of the way of the text, which I'm fine with, to be honest. Which I'm kind of fine with. So if the train comes in here, it's going to still see the sign, but it's look, it's going to be like it's placed on the roof. And then what I'm going to do is if we head back up here, where's my uh, hover pipe? Let's get that on. That'd be a lot easier for me to use. And then I'm going to take this all the way across. So let's get another four meter. I'm just going to take that all the way across there, remove that one, and then just kind of take this across here like this and then i'm going to be painting all these blue right and like i said the, I, I don't like the look of this how it looks from like afar like with all these blue so i'm just going to go into my architecture tab i'm going to get the um uh the roof four meters and i'm just going to place these here like this and then just kind of put them across like that i think that looks a uh, like a hell of a lot better it makes it look a lot cleaner as well and it hides the blue but it also keeps the blue accent on the side so i kind of like the look of that i think i'm just going to place a window inside here so again let's get a road barrier road barriers are my favorite friends in this game you'll start to get you know start to notice that and then place a window just there like that kind of looks all right but then i've got this kind of coming through here i think i'm just going to grab myself 
another eight meter foundation. Can I put that on top of there? Um, let me take that up by one, then put you onto the side of that like that. And we'll zoop you all the way across here. That will hide the train station kind of clipping through there. We can remove that one. Yeah, we can kind of do that. Kind of like that. I'm going to get a, a flat roof here, aren't I? And go take this all the way along here. So it's going to leave this. It kind of looks like a, you know, like an extractor on the roof kind of. And you can kind of catch the drift of like what I'm going to be working with here. Okay, so as you can see now, I have been playing around with the build a little bit more. And I've took this along here. And this is the kind of design I did on the front. So it matches this over here. But this is a protruding wall where that's kind of like, and like, uh, uh, did you say embossed kind of embezzle? Like that's embezzled into the building where this is more embossed kind of thing. Um, obviously, that's where I've been going in and out. Uh, and I've done the same thing here with the lights. And what I've done is I've used the angles of this building and connected it along here. But then this is where I've created the angle. And then I've just made this a straight flat wall. Straight wall. Straight flat window. Um... And I, I didn't dive, uh, you know, um, split it up with the pillars this time. I just kind of left it the way it is. And then just in case I want to come back to it later. But I kind of like the divide of how this is very busy where this is very clean kind of looking, you know. Um, I kind of like the look of that. And it creates a little bit of, how would you say, like modern brutalism kind of thing? Would you, I guess you could say that. Um, and then I've done the texture of the, I've done the roof as well all the way along here. And it goes along this as well. But you probably noticed as well, I've also got rid of the train station and removed the line here um, because this was obviously no longer needed. This is now fully functional. I've di diverted all four trains that was going there. And as you know, if we go to our map here, uh, they're actually collecting the quartz here. They make the way along the canyon just going down here. They then pull into a train station right here. We can see this quartz three train pulling in right there. Um, and this stops here to pick up some more quartz, which are from the cave here. And then they come all the way along the rocky desert and make the way over to this building. And then it goes on a cycle again. It goes all the way back over to just outside the rocky, uh, well, the desert canyons, pick up the quartz and comes back this way. I'm thinking about maybe putting some windows here as well, but I don't know how this is going to look with this floor being removed later. So I'm just going to leave it just for now and we're going to work on some more projects. All right, after playing around a little bit more, I've removed some foundation here um, just to, you know, because it, it was unneeded. It, I'm just basically trimming the fat from the foundation we don't need and start doing that piece by piece. Uh, but as you can see, I've, I've also started adding the um, the lights in here. And all I've done is I've just put that down to the side of the highway. That's all I've done. I've, I've added a foundation here, and then I've just placed this on top, connected this to the main power line, which is connected into the middle of the uh, highway. And then that just casts a light onto the side of the building over here. But like I said before as well, I've also added these beams going across um, the actual station here. And you might recognize this area because this is when I started doing the path signals video, if you've seen that, where you know, if you want to learn more about path signals and how they work and how they operate. This was actually the time I actually made that video was when I got up to this part within the build. See, this way it might look familiar. You might also notice the lights on the building. I've actually made them red. Uh, I, can't, I feel like it's a bit of a nice contrast between the blue, uh, the black, and it kind of gives a bit more vibrancy, especially at a distance, and it catches your eye a little bit. So what you're going to notice as well is I don't actually have any lights inside of these because that's a design choice because I feel like you know, these lights are enough on this building. But if we go further down here, we can see I've just got lights in here which are crossing, which are very, very simple to make. And I'll quickly show you how we do that now. So all we do is we're just going to remove a bit of the foundation, well, the pipes like this, uh, pipes, the uh, pillars. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do organization, get a street light, place that on there. So I want it on this side of the line uh, and face it that way. And then on this side, I want it to face that way. So they kind of cross and it kind of creates like a double street light. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab myself a pillar frame. I'm just going to place that in the middle and I'm just going to zoop that up just like that. But then I'm going to remove the middle one. This allows me to grab the power line from there and attach it to the middle and then grab that one and attach that to the middle. Go underneath, which I then grab my hover pack. Uh, where's my hover pack? And then I'm just going to grab the power line from there. Actually, no, I want to ooh, jump under first. Grab the... What's the closest power kit? Actually, I may as well grab it from the power line here, right? Grab my power outlet. And I'm going to highlight the lines here. So you can kind of see this line is now orange. It means I'm just going to add a power line to this. So it means, you know, I can... You can see where it's going to attach to without breaking the lines. I'm just going to place it underneath right here and then grab that and then power this just like that. And that means them lights are now connected to the highway. And now let's finish this off just like that. Remove this here. Bring this up by three. So one, two, three. And then go from the top. As you can see, it won't allow me to snap 
to the edge like it has done up there. All I need to do is just hold control. And you see it'll start rotating. Just straighten it back up again. And you can move it a lot more finely now on this. So you can place it at the top there now. So if I let go of control, it's going to start doing you know snapping hold current hold control it's going to refine it i can just take that across there like this and then we'll just do it on long the same one here as well so place that there take it up by three hold control place it to the top then take that across and then that's how basically i've done them um and then i'll just fill these you know back in again uh, by doing this okay a few hours later and as you can see i've now removed this whole section here this is the, where the trains was and i've just shifted them to the side and uh you know just got them operational again by you know bringing the lines back in and all that kind of stuff um and then i've removed the junction that was over there like i you know i stated and now this is the new inbound uh, line so the lines will come from you know over there where this train's coming from and it will turn in here and it's not going to compete for any you know for any lines actually that one's going straight past so that one's going all the way over to the the starter base because that's taking plastic and rubber uh, but the train comes down here and it turns in goes directly in it won't pause or wait for anyone because there's going to be no traffic uh, and then the line outbound from that goes around the building, comes down this bit, goes up, over, and around here, and goes back in the direction it needs to go. Because the trains that are leaving there, you know, aren't going that way. So there's no need for this line to cross this line to go down there. This is working nice, and it's a little bit more optimal. And as you can see, I've done this all the way along, which is the same way I've done my highway. Just kind of match everything together. Removed a hell of a lot of foundation, as you can tell. And things are starting to clean up a little bit more. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to start looking at the design of this building. Uh, and the first thing that's coming to my mind is, first up, we're going to do the same doors um, and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to grab ourselves a foundation here. We'll place that to a, f uh, a four meter. I'm just going to take that to there. And then I'm going to take that to there. We're just going to ignore any trains that come clipping through us right now because I'm just going to put this down uh, here. So road barrier, place one there, place one there. Grab myself a door from here and then just hold control again we've already gone through this today so i'm just gonna place that there remove this one now and then just bring this down here like so and that will go onto the track the reason you might be wondering why did i not just remove the track there well if i remove the track one the train will lose its connection which will then back up the trains possibly so you know doing that form of clipping over there you know it's gonna work um for now then i'm just gonna grab this foundation here and i'm gonna take this up i'm actually gonna take that up by maybe just over the train station maybe like this maybe i don't know and then I'm going to, I think I might play around with the the, uh, the the semicircle stuff. Just for like accent and a little bit more of depth, maybe. So let's go into foundations. Let's go down here. And we've got these outer corner pieces here. And I'm just wondering if to put like one there and then one here. And we're going to take this up to the, like, you know, the top there like this. And then we're going to do this on the either side of the door, maybe. Like so. And then I can paint these a blue accent. I think I don't know how high I'm going to go with this. That kind of looks cool, right? And I can just paint these blue like that. And then let's just say if we take that and zoop that all the way along here now. Does that work? Actually, I could because I could take this up by one more, right? I think that looks pretty nice. Like this. Ugh. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of works, doesn't it? And I can maybe put some windows in there. And then if I paint that, it kind of does something like that, right? I think I'm going to go straight. I'm going to change these materials here. I'm going to put this to... I think that's what's throwing me off right now is just that. You know, the um, steel. And I'm just going to do that like that. I think that looks pretty decent. And then put a foundation there and then put a window in here. And then just kind of make it... I don't want to do like crazy amounts of detail and go into all kind of beams and uh, beam attachments and do some crazy stuff like that because it gets way too complicated. And I think a lot of you might um, struggle with it because it does take some time to learn because yeah, it did for me as well. We kind of do something like that. I'm going to do this on this side as well. And that's kind of working. So I think we're just going to kind of go around the edge of this building. But what I want to do, I think, is I want to create maybe that kind of angle over here, if I can. So let's just grab ourselves a foundation. Actually, let yeah, let's grab ourselves a foundation and take it open the door here. So let's just grab you, take you up vertically. So doorway doorway window block maybe so maybe four maybe that might be a little bit too high over there because if i grab myself a double meter ramp well go back over this side and take you from there then add you as well i could technically cap it off here and remove this so i can delete everything from this these two top rows like that and then fill in these gaps here like 
so. And then we have this here. And this is where I'm going to do... I'm going to obviously put the, the doorway along here. But I'm going to take this across as well. So you to the... And then you're going to come down here. But you're going to go all, all the way to the ground as a support. And then here we're going to do the same with the doors. So I'm just going to put that there. Oh, God. Ignore this. Ignore what's about... No, actually, don't. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put that there and then put the doors back here again. Then place that down like that. I don't need to put like a window at the top there. I think it might look a bit weird, especially when the wind the door is open, you know? Actually, I need to uh, think you don't. I? I need to remove that. Take this up by whoa, one and then get myself, yes, another bloody barrier. Place that there. Got myself a wall. Well, window. Place you there. Remove that. And then remove, put this one underneath. And then put that across there like that. I think that's... It might look a bit weird, right? Especially if... It's going to be like a floating window. I don't... Yeah, I think I might change that up. <laughs> right, so after playing around for a little bit, we've kind of come up with this. And I've... You can see we've added some lights inside now. Because I've actually done the whole structure going around. So we've got this and I've just done some ceiling lights in here. And all I've done is I've just put um, a two meter foundation underneath the roof. And it kind of... It like these lights clip through the sides here. But what it does, it focuses the light in, you know, a lot more on the subject that's below. So you can see how narrow this kind of is. Because if I was to remove these, it actually disperses a lot more down here as well. Uh, and then all I've done is, you know, put the lines down here, which they normally was. Uh, and then I've just kind of played around with this. There was one problem because I did have a four meter foundation here like this. Uh, but it was clipping through the thing and I didn't like it. So I've just kind of uh, put down the four meter here and a four meter above, but then put like a divider in the middle with the half meter, four meter foundation. Half, half four meter foundation. That makes sense. And then just put that down there like that. And if we look here, um, there was a bit of an extra footpath going underneath. So I've added a door to the side of the double door, which takes me straight out here and I can just access the highway uh, and all that kind of stuff. But then there was too much gap here and I didn't like it. So we come up with this, you know, we just got beams and I've just gone from one side to another side, one side to another side, leaving a gap. And it kind of creates a nice little texture here uh, and it works pretty well. So I'm pretty impressed with this so far. As you can see, I've now added lights all the way across the highway. Uh, well, I wouldn't say they call it the highway now. And then over here where it angles off, all I've done is I've just done some windows that go along here to keep a bit of a, you know, a skylight uh, and we can kind of see in. It looks pretty decent from inside. And as of now, I've not really done anything on the other end. I've kind of built the foundation going straight down. I kind of like the whole marble kind of black look. It looks very empire-ish. <laughs> But now it's time to kind of work on the inside of this building. I, I'm, I'm not going to really do much, to be honest, inside. All I'm going to do is every corridor where all these splitters are, I'm just going to bring down a, uh, a catwalk like this um, and just take it all the way down uh, to the other end and make sure that we turn onto the other layers and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I've not, I put these here as well. You can kind of see down into uh, here with these windows, but obviously I'm going to be removing these floors to add a walkway, but you'll still be able to see into them and all that kind of stuff. But for the windows and all that kind of stuff here, I'm, I don't have an idea of what I want to do. I think I'm just going to grab myself a one meter here, zoop this along here, grab myself obviously a barrier, uh, and then I'm going to place just windows in here. I don't know if to use the, um, uh, I don't know if to use the hex frame ones or the full frame. I'm thinking about using the full frame uh, and then just taking that up there. I don't think I'm going to do much else with it, to be honest. I don't want to go crazy and use, you know, hit the object limit too soon, especially when we've not done any of the crazy mega builds yet. Um, but this is kind of like a, a, a ginnel here. I think we talked about this in the last video. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a way for us to enter this, uh, kind of like an, uh, a maintenance hatch kind of thing and that's all i'm going to do for the windows here and the walkways are just going to go down every line of here so i'm going to place them along here as well and then over here i'm going to you could it's very much like this uh, but then i'm going to take these into the other room over there where the manufacturers are and do exactly the same thing so that's all i'm going to do and we can have you know we can you know look down on our machines and what they're producing and all that kind of stuff so there we go as you can see i've just kind of gone around the whole building it did take a little bit of time i'm not going to be honest i'm going to be honest with you i was kind of just like watching uh, <laughs> Amazon Prime on the other monitor whilst I was doing it. Um, but I've added the walkways. I've added a bit of a roof to that electrical thing. And you can see I've kind of left like these little grids up here in the ceiling. That's because over here in the back left-hand corner, you might have noticed, ooh, uh, I've started adding the lights in. Um, so I've got, just got ceiling lights here. Uh, and all I'm doing with these is where everywhere these light, light, uh, lightish areas are in the ceiling, I'm just kind of um, adding, which it needs to be that way. 
And obviously, every time it goes, so it goes red, yellow, and then place, and then move backwards, and then so on and so forth. And I need to go through all of that, through all of this. So this is going to take some time to do. And then I need to figure out the cabling and all that kind of stuff. So we're getting near enough pretty much there now, to be honest. Like I said, it's very much a block style building. It's the kind of the, the way I kind of go, but just kind of add a lot of lights in there and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll get back with you in a minute once I've added all the bloody lights. And there we go. All lights are got. I kind of like the pattern on the ceiling. I mean, you can kind of see all of this. I don't know why, but I'm kind of fascinated with it it feels like i'm in like a uh, like a, a hangar of a you know the space station or something <laughs> but one thing you're gonna notice is that the lights kind of turn out and kind of go with where i'm going that's just because of the lods right now of the lights uh because what you'll find out is the more lights you put in one specific chunk of the map for example here we put like down a load it won't actually load them all so the lights kind of turn on as i move uh down the um the ramps and all that kind of stuff uh and it'd be like that for everything in this area because it's you know it just because of lod and save your fps and stuff like that but this building looks pretty nice uh obviously the reason we put a lot of work into this one is just because one this is going to be a permanent building um the ones that i do all these design work for is they're going to be permanent buildings and they will be staying staying in until the end of the playthrough unless you know crazy things change <laughs> so as you can see my designs are you know very minimalistic and all it is it's just blocks put in the right way well what i think is the right way for my buildings and once you start adding different layers on different layers it starts coming together and starts forming and it starts to create some like cool interesting kind of looks and depths you know that your eyes can perceive is that the best way of putting it but like this is the first time for me coming inside this alleyway here after i've kind of split the buildings up and it doesn't look so bad the lights shining from inside the building to the outside of the building and i like how you can just look inside the building and you see like everything kind of doing its thing but for the building support i just kind of left it flat because i didn't know where to go from there so something might come in mind in the future but for that the railway i've just kind of gone with these supports uh, well, the, the framework and just kind of played around with that. And then I just added some coated foundation at the bottom of these to kind of give it a bit more structure and support for them. So hopefully this goes over the like the design process my brain kind of works with. It's very, very simple and very minimalistic and very blocky, but it's what I like within my builds, um, you know, and I enjoy it. So now it's time to start working on the next project, but that will wait till next time because we're going to start working on computers and radio control units. So check out my other content right here. And as always, keep bloody smiling.